Some people think that social networking is just for expanding your circle of friends, but a lot of professionals are using social networking tools now. One of the most popular sites for professionals is called LinkedIn. Setting up your profile on LinkedIn is easy. After you've registered on the site, click on the profile link over on the left-hand column. Now before you dive right in and start setting up your profile, think about what you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to expand your network? Or are you actively looking for a job? Or maybe you want to promote your professional experience to get consulting gigs. Within the profile section, there are eight different contact settings that describe different opportunities you may want people to get in touch with you about. Just click on Edit Contact Settings over here on the right and select which types of messages you will accept. Then, right below, choose the kinds of opportunities you want to receive. You can also add some text about advice that you would give to users who want to contact you, or you can leave that part blank. Either way, when you're done making your selections, click Save Changes. Next, you'll want to add your profile summary. The summary appears at the top of your profile and gives readers a quick snapshot of who you are. Remember to keep it brief. Really, you just want to give a quick synopsis highlighting your most relevant skills or accomplishments. You can add the details about your education, employment, honors, and all of that in the other sections of your profile. When you're done with the summary, you can move on to entering information about your employers. Because the site is geared toward professionals, this is one of the most important aspects of your profile. LinkedIn also has a huge company directory built into the site that can help you connect with past colleagues or find new job opportunities. Basically, for each company you've worked with, you'll fill in the company name, your job title, the time period you worked for the company, and a description of your job duties. If you're not sure what to put for your duties, you can click on the link right below the description field to see a few examples. You may want to have a copy of your resume handy when you start this section so you'll have all the information you need. You can add as many positions as you want and include as much or as little information in the description as you think is appropriate. And of course, you can always come back and add more positions or revise any of the information. When you're done with the employment section, you're going to do a similar process to enter your education history. Just click on the link to add education and you'll get another helpful form. You'll see that when you select the state, LinkedIn then adds a pull-down menu to let you choose a school and save you some typing time. Then you'll enter your degree, your major, the dates you attended the school, and any details about your activities or other experience. Those are the two main sections you want to complete in your profile. If you scroll down the Edit Profile page, you'll see there are also sections for you to add additional information, including your websites, interests, groups, and associations, or any awards you've received. After you've gone through all the different profile sections on LinkedIn, you should probably read through everything carefully one last time to make sure it's all accurate. You can also take a look at your profile the way others see it by clicking the tab for View My Profile at the top of the profile screen or the link in the left column. Assuming everything looks good and you don't need to go in and make any changes, the last step is to set your profile for public view so that people on LinkedIn who aren't already in your network can see it as well. To do this, look over at the right side of the screen for the link that says Edit Public Profile Settings. Then select Full View and choose the features that you want to be visible to anyone who finds your profile. When you're done, click Save Changes down at the bottom. Remember that you can always go back and change any of your profile settings or add and delete information in your profile. Just log into LinkedIn and click on the link for Edit My Profile that's on the left side of the screen. And once you've got your profile all set up, you can start expanding your professional network.